So let's get into today's video. I have been asked and asked what kind of knot do I use. So I'm going to show you guys what kind of knot I use and how to tie them. When I tie monofilament or fluorocarbon, I use a trilene knot. It's fast and simple. Well, it's, it's super fast once you get the hang of how to tie it. And so I had to retie this line because I was playing around the other day and put a bobber on it and I got some kinks. So there it is right there. Cut that. Let me get me some line. All right. So this right here is mono. Super easy, guys. Slip on my weight. And I'm taking my 3 aught EWG hook, slide it through the eye, come out, take it and go back through the eye. Alright, so you have a loop there, pull through. I like to go ahead and give me a lot of slack, makes it super easy, put me a lot of slack in there. Then here's my main line, here's my line from my loop, just twist it around your main line four times, one, two, three, four, okay? Now. Take it, once you come around, take your slack line, go in between the loop that you made with your twist and then through the loop that you made by doubling it through the eye. Pull it, come tight, all right? Now, if you're using fluorocarbon, because it's so sensitive, you wanna wet your line, so just Stick in your mouth like that, wet your line, and then cinch it down. Simple as that. This is the knot that I use 99.9% .9 of the time when I'm fishing fluorocarbon or mono. Alright? Uh, leave a comment below and tell me if that was simple. I mean, to me that was as simple as it gets, but leave a comment below if you think that was, that was pretty simple. And the more and more you do it, I mean, it's fast. You break off, boom, you got another hook on super fast. So, there you have it, guys. Cut off your little tag, whatever you want to call it. And, I mean, that's a strong, that's a strong knot right there. And there is my Texas rig. Boom. Now, we're going to be tying braid. The knot that I use to tie my braid is called a polymer knot. All I do is I get me some slack. Uh, I'm going to go about that far right there. And I'm going to fold it to where I make a double line. Alright. So I got my double line right there. Take my lure and I'm going to stick it where my fold is through the eye of my lure. Alright to where I have it double line through the eye, just like that. Take it, don't go past where you're slacking your main line meet, don't go past it, come around, tie a regular knot like you're gonna tie your shoe, open your double line, slide your lure through there, and then pull it tight. Just like that. And that is called the polymer knot. Like I said, guys, is I use simple knots. I've never had these knots fail on me where other than, you know, me abusing them, you know, hanging it up on stuff and not, you know, double checking my line. But there you have it, the polymer knot. Leave a comment again below if that, that was simple instructions. 
if uh, if you guys would like to see me do it again, I'll try to slow it down a little more. Let me know and I'll do it again. If you do fish with braid, I highly recommend you putting a pair of scissors in your boat or your tackle bag. Because trying to cut these things with you know, the little fingernail clipper deals is hard. And I just, you know, scissors just make cutting braid so much easier. And uh, done deal. I mean, we're ready to go fishing now. What you guys think? So there you have it. I used the Charlene knot for my monofilament and my fluorocarbon. And then I used the polymer knot for my braid. And I never have trouble out of them. Super fast. Super easy. Once you get the hang of it. I hope that answered any of you guys' questions. If you didn't know neither one of those knots, I'm glad I could help you out. Hopefully you use them. Helps you out on the water. So you guys throw, throw, give me some ideas, you know, what you'd like to see on that wall. Uh, I basically already have it in my mind of how I want to do it. I mean, I got my outdoor militia banner right there. That's the buck that I killed last year to the only deer hunt video that I was able to get done. Um, I got my uh, only curl feather from my first mallard that I ever killed. Uh, another eight point. Uh, got, that's all the rifles that I own. Uh, 4570, a 280, 30 6 and 7mm 08. Bunch of chewy tobacco. And then the giveaway lures and my duck calls. So if you guys like to, you know, think something be cool up there, let me know. I'll probably have it. So uh, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching. Smash that thumbs up if you want more tips. And I'll see y'all next time.